Hey what's going on guys, my name is Lee and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best settings for mirrorless action which I'll be using for now on. You can get this program with a 30 day trial or you can buy it to make it last forever. You can also look at things showing you how to get it for free, but yeah. So let's get started. So as you can see I am recording right now, that's why it's got this here so I'm not going to be able to go in many of these options, I'm not going to be able to click them and show you the menu, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm using and yeah what the best settings are so basically with this here it will tell you which hotkey you will use to start recording i'll get onto hotkeys later on though at the end of the video but yeah so basically you can select where the benchmark is i'm not sure what that is exactly so i'm just going to ignore that but just set the recording mode as this one if you want to record games such as minecraft if you want to record your uh, desktop and stuff like that just the active screen uh, like Google Home and stuff, then just select the second option, that's why I'm recording this right now. And the third one is basically so you can record a certain area if you want. Uh, so say it was like where I've highlighted now, it could be like that or something. Yeah, it, it just record that basically, so it won't record anything else. That might make it bad quality though, but I'm not sure because I've never used it before. So yeah, I'm just going to get into the settings now. So for the file format, you need to, or you should set it as AVI, because that's the best setting. There's the MP4, and there's another one, I'm not sure what it is though. Something related to MP4, but I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, so just select to AVI. And set the vi video size if you want 1080p to 1080p. If you want 720p, then 720p. But yeah, I don't think you can get high in 1080p, so if you want to record it, like, um... Whether, yeah, 1440p, then I don't think you can do that yet. You probably will be able to do that in future versions though. And this is an old version, so I'm not exactly sure if you can yet. But yeah, just set the video frame rate to 60 frames per second. If you want it as 30, then you can, but 60 FPS would look a lot smoother. FPS basically stands for frames per second, so video frame rate is the same thing. For the duration, if you want it just to record 5 minutes, then you can just set that here. So basically, double zero H means uh, zero hours, and then M means minute, and then uh, S means seconds. So yeah, you can have that as whatever you want, but I recommend you do that in your editing software. You don't have to, but it's up to you. So this one, I'm not sure what it is, you can click on here because I'm not exactly sure. It just takes you to uh, this, this help website, whatever. But yeah, so I'm not sure what that is, but it's basically use perfect video match mode. But yeah, so don't ask me about that. Record system sounds, if you have that checked, then that would obviously record your system sounds. So what you can hear through your headphones or your speakers will basically come up in the video. But sometimes it's a bit off, so I'm not really sure how you can fix that with this program, but chat so it's just for games, I'm not exactly sure because I've not tested it on my screen. But yeah. So if you have allow multi-channel audio recording, that basically means if you have another setting chat to multi-channel recording, then that basically mean um, you can record it in three f uh, three tracks. So basically, it'll be the video, the um, the audio from the video. So basically, like notifications and stuff. If you have system sounds chat, uh, and then there'll be your commentary and stuff. If you have it set as that. But yeah, um, I don't do that, I just record it straight into Audacity, but if you have it like that, then you can just open it with Audacity, and that's a really good feature. For the microphone, you can just have it on Always Records. You're going to select the microphone you want to record later on though, but yeah. So that's it for the video recording section. I'm not going to go over the live uh, live section, because I don't do live streaming, so I recommend you search in, uh, searching up a tutorial for that. And the remote action settings, there's nothing really you need to worry about in there. Don't think there's anything on there. But yeah, so the audio recording, that's basically um, what I was talking about a minute ago for the uh, multi-channel audio recording. So if you have output format as uh, w w w WAV, set it to that and not MP4 audio because that's worse, but I've heard anyway. Cool science, I recommend having that chat and you can just uh, cut, it, uh, cut it out in your editing software. 
And yeah, as I was saying about allow multi-channel audio recording, that's if you want to record your microphone. So it's basically just the same as the first one, but I'm pretty sure you have to have these exactly the same anyway. But yeah. So the microphone, just have that as always record if you want to. If you're using Audacity, then obviously don't. I didn't say it in the recording section, but it's the same thing for that. Benchmarking, as I said earlier, I'm not sure what this does, so I'm just going to ignore this. Capture screenshots, I recommend having a file format as PNG, as that is the best quality that I've read. So yeah. The screenshot area is basically, if you're making a screenshot obviously, I'm not sure how you take it. I think you have to, yeah, you have to click that or something. I'm not as sure on that. Pretty sure there's a screenshot hotkey anyway. But yeah, so you can have your screenshot area as the entire desktop. I'm not sure what that means because I don't think it takes a screenshot of both of them. Both of your monitors, or more if you have more than that. But I just have it set as desktop one because that's my main monitor here. So if I was going to use it then it would just take a screenshot of this one. And that's like if you did alt print screen lock, that would just uh, take a picture of one, one of the screens, your main screen. But if you just do print screen lock then it would do both of them. And it kind of looks a bit messed up. But yeah, sorry for my chair by the way, I don't know if you can hear that. So in the general settings, which is if you click on here and then here, that's where it is. Uh, I just have my language as English, obviously you can have that as what you want. And the uh, application window always on top, I have that unchecked. I'm not going to go in detail about what they do because I'm probably just going to get confused about them. So yeah, I'm just going to say which ones have checked. So check for updates, that's always useful if you want to update your uh, software. And start application minimize to trade out basically, I think if you, uh, when you start it, it would just go to the tray down here, I'm not sure, or this. I, I'm not sure if they call the taskbar the tray or this, so I'm not sure on that. Uh, and show action window when desktop recording is finished. That basically means as soon as you finish recording, uh, recording it would just come up, uh, it would just be visible like it is now instead of minimize. So yeah, that's it for the general settings. For the video recording settings, this is really important. As so the uh, recording one is, the first one. So have the video quality as high, because you want the best quality obviously. Have the bit rate as 100% because uh, 100 you get the best quality from that. Have the input range at 0 to 255, I'm not sure what the other one does. I'm not sure what any of them do. But yeah. So use multi-call recording. I'm not going to show you how to check if you have a multi-core processor. Basically what that means is you have four processors or more. So I have six, so I'd have that checked. So make sure you check, yeah, check that. But yeah, so that's all that does really. So just like that. And record mouse cursor, that's basically, you can see my mouse cursor here. If you have that unchecked, then it won't record it. I'm not going to uncheck it because it might mess it up, but yeah. So if you want visualised uh, mouse clicks on, then that would basically just mean so when you click like that, it would, I'm not sure what it does in action, but it, it's probably just like Camtasia Studio where it has like a yellow ring effect that fades out, I'm not exactly sure about that. But the use overlay graphics is basically if you uh, put an input file and then change your position, basically that would make it so you have an image on your screen basically. Not on your screen, but on the final uh, output of the video. Yeah, you'd have it on there. But I recommend doing that in your editing software also. But if you don't use an editing software, or you can't be bothered, then you can just use that, and that's useful anyway. But you can't always change it, like, to somewhere, like, at the top right. It's just, it's just the top right, or the bottom right, and stuff like that. In the webcam settings, I'm not going to go over that, because obviously I don't have... Well, I'm not using the webcam, and I don't have one either. But yeah, so I'm just going to ignore that. And this is a really important setting. I was saying about the microphone settings. Uh, be able, uh, being able to record in a separate track. So yeah, I'm going to get onto that in a bit. So basically under the uh, microphone settings, it would come up with the audio device. Obviously you want to select your microphone unless you have something like voice meter. That just makes it sound better. So yeah, you can just select that if you want to. And have the volume at whatever you want, I just have it as 50. Pretty sure that affects the volume of whatever you selected anyway. But it makes sense to for that to be the case. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure on that though. So record microphone into a separate audio track. 
That's exactly what you have to select if you want to uh, record it into a separate track. And make sure you uh, check these other options that I was talking about. But yeah, so I'm just going to go back in that. And basically here is your speakers. So just select your speakers. And yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, you can just select whatever you want the microphone as. Obviously I'm using this so it would be a bit more confusing. Uh, but for the bitrate, I recommend having 512. I haven't changed that though because I've never really got into that. So yeah, that's really it for the microphone settings, the audio settings. And this is for the HUD settings. So basically, if you had a uh, high HUD join just top recording, basically you can't see it on my screen, but there would be this um, this uh, this thing showing that you're recording at the top right. Unless you select one of these, then it would obviously change your position. But yeah, so you can have that checked if you want. I don't know why you would though, because it's not like anyone needs to see it. But it'd be good for tutorial purposes. But yeah, so that's really it for that. And if you select do not record HUD in games and applications, basically that means it won't come up in games either and applications. Uh, so yeah, I have those two chat and the last ones I don't. I just have it set as the top right anyway, but that doesn't matter because obviously, as I said, I don't have it on. So yeah, for the export settings, uh, you just want to select to use hardware accelerations for video encoding. Not sure what that does, but I just have it checked anyway. I've heard that's good. And I think you just select your uh, graphics card here, not like uh, like certain graphics uh, graphics card, just like the make of it, like the company, like AMD for example. And for the export mouse cursor, if you have that checked, basically, as I was saying, it would also export this. I don't know why there's a duplicate of that, but it's probably something that you need to check, like the microphone settings and stuff like that, uh, when you select it. So it makes it uh, go into a separate chat, but not sure on that. This is the same export mouse clicks, the uh, visualizations. That's the same thing as I was saying earlier. If you left click, then it would have that ring effect or something. I'm not sure what action uses as, uh, uses, as I said. For the upload settings, just have these unchecked unless you're not going to edit it. If you want to make like, well, I don't know, if you're making a one hour video, and you want to split it into uh, four sections, so it's four parts, and basically you would have 15 minutes. I didn't even say that because it said 50 minutes, I just made up a random one, and it happened to be that. Because that's what most people do, they do around 15 minutes for their videos. That's what I recommend as well, but I don't do that, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure if it's a good idea or not. But yeah, for the export output folder, basically what that does is, uh, you can select your folder, look a bit different than like normally opening it in like sony vegas for example it looks a lot better in my opinion it's a bit more complicated and it takes a while to get used uh, used to but it's it's exactly the same though so it's just it just looks different visually so yeah that's it for the export settings that's basically just gonna uh, that's where it's gonna record to and you can also see the recordings here and you can go on this uh, open output folder but yeah, as I was talking about for the, um, one of the hotkeys, I'm not sure what it was. Oh yeah, it's for the video recording and stuff. Basically, if you, uh, yeah, there's this uh, record video option. Just click that and then set it to whatever you want. I have it as uh, F4. Basically, that just, uh, when you press that, it starts. When you press it, it stops. It's not like in Open Broadcaster software, where basically you have to have two. It can be the same thing, though. But yeah, it's just one, so that's a bit unfortunate. But I don't know anyone that does use like F4 and F5 for example, and not just the same one. I don't really mess around with these settings because I don't really care. But I think uh, to change this to F4 if you want to have it like me, uh, I think you have to change some other settings, and it's a bit annoying to change because you can't change ones like these. You can't um you can't untick them, so you have to just change it. So yeah, that's a downside. So yeah, that's basically all there is to the settings and the hotkeys and stuff like that. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did find it helpful, then make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.